I'm gonna show you how to use Streamlabs on an iPad and stream for free and also how to recover from a stream that failed. So if you go to the App Store, you can download Streamlabs and this will also work on uh, other devices. So once you get Streamlabs, if you click up in the top left corner, it's kind of hidden, but there's a settings, and this is where you're going to want to go to set your video stream speed based on your internet connection. You can also set other things like your audio, the main ones is the video, because this is what will send to YouTube. If you upgrade to the Ultra, you can get some extra features. The main one is you get streamed to multiple services at once. So you're going to want to log in to your YouTube account or whichever streaming service you use. I'm going to demonstrate from YouTube. Looks like where we stream from. So what you're going to want to do is click the live. And then click the next on um, image history and so sharing is selected. Now you're going to want to go to the upcoming events. And the reason you want to do upcoming events is because you're going to need to schedule an event on YouTube before you can actually stream. Because if you don't, it basically will stream the broadcast and then it will post it on YouTube after. And which isn't what you want, because then it's basically a video. So if you go to studio.youtube.com and log into your account there, up in the top right corner, there's a create button. And you're going to want to go live. You, on the iPad, you might have to hold, hold it to uh, open it in the new window, because the window likes to disappear. And then you're going to want to click on the schedule stream and you can reuse a stream or you can create a new one. Basically, it's just typing in the details. You'll want to do a thumbnail and then set if it's for kids or not. And you can add other stuff on YouTube. Then you go to the uh, schedule part and you can select what time. So you can set the time. If you want to go live right away, basically the time that it is right now, or if you want to do it in the future, you can schedule it in the future. But I'm going to set it to unlisted so it doesn't show up on a YouTube channel. But basically, once you set this, it will create the stream for YouTube, and this is going to allow stream labs to actually see the stream for you. Otherwise, like I said, it won't work. So that's one of the main things you want to make sure you do. Always schedule the stream. So now if we go back to the upcoming event in stream labs, we will see that it has a new stream that we had created. And then you just click next and save and then You'll click the uh, go live button when you're ready to go live. It will automatically go to the stream lab to stream it. And then you'll click start stream. And once you do that, it will allow you to broadcast. And once you're ready to broadcast, you will go back to the studio.youtube.com and click the the live button up in the top corner. The schedule time is available to start stream that will enable and you will be able to broadcast that stream. And once the stream broadcasts, it will also, by before or during, it shows a little preview of what's going on. If you get an error message from Streamlabs saying the broadcast has ended, what you're going to want to do is go back into Streamlabs or close Streamlabs and reopen it. Click the go live, then go to the active streams 
Yeah, I'm sure you do after because if you do something else, it'll stop your strength. So you want to make sure you go active and then you can recover the strain and then it'll restart the strain automatically for you if you do this. Make sure you, on YouTube you don't click and strain because that will also end your strain. I hope this was helpful. Give this a thumbs up and if you have any questions, just put it in the comments.